CF does not define who you are as a family or an individual. It's just something that you deal with you know, as part of your life. We have two kids, uh, Kevin is eight, Claire is six. Uh, Claire is the one with CF. We don't let her CF hold her back from being a normal child. They're both very high-spirited kids. I mean, they love activities. What kind of stuff do you like to do? Soccer, swimming, ballet. Claire, what's one of the things that you have to do every day? Medicine and therapy. Medicine and therapy, that's right. That's right. Do you like doing medicine and therapy every day? No. Do you do it anyways? Yes. Yeah. You're very good about that. I'm proud of you for that. She knows that even though she hates doing it and she'd much rather do 20 other things, she knows that she has to do it. Right now she's taking her enzymes at school by herself and so they're in the little thing and no one tells her to take them. She's heard up to her to open it up and take them. And I can count how many she's taken, so I know if she's taken them and I'll ask her. But that was a big step. There is a really big down part of having CF. It's because you have a rare disease and uh, you have to take lots and lots of medicine. We record her favorite TV shows and so she gets to watch her TV show. So even if she's really mad about having to do it, before she knows it, it's over, and then she's on to doing the rest of her day. Who's the primary caregiver? Well, it's both of us. You know, it's not one person's job to do it. It's the family's job. So the burden doesn't fall on any one person to do everything, because it would be overwhelming. We've all tried to learn in the family that food's like medicine, because we have to have this fattening food in the house for Claire. When I'm shopping, I'm looking for high fat stuff for her and then non-fat stuff for my husband and I and then like regular food for her brother. I'm very optimistic about the future because I just have to be. There's no other way to approach it. I believe that she will stay healthy and I believe that she will do what she needs to do in her life. The more she grows with it, the more she's going to be able to take that responsibility for herself. And that's one of the, you know, the very main lessons that we can impart upon her is to be the responsible caregiver for herself in the future.